T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello, everyone. T-Man 978. Right now, I'm going to be reviewing Mezco 112 Collective X-Men Magneto here. If you need to see the packaging or anything, Google or watch my T-Man moment where I unboxed it and started messing with it and gave my initial thoughts and stuff. But this shouldn't take me too long. He doesn't come with that many accessories. The accessories he does come with are cool. And yeah, it's just Magneto. He shouldn't have to come with accessories. His powers are to manipulate other people's accessories. Like this guy right here. Yeah. Well, anyhow, it's cool. I like the outfit. I like his design. And that's why... I pre-ordered it. Got this from Crash Box Customs. They even threw in this comic book for me right here. 25th Anthem Race 3 I'm wondering if it's, it says Marvel 25th, but if Marvel is 80 years old, and I think Marvel is including before they were actually called Marvel to be 80, because the real comics didn't start until like the freaking 60s, but whatever. Here is his outfit. Let me zoom in a bit. So you can see that texture detail right there. That's like a really thin, pliable material. I don't even begin to know what, know what that's called. It's like layered on him. The belt, I can't tell. I think the, yeah, the belt is just free flowing. I thought it was attached to his back maybe. But as you can see, these designs go up the back. It sort of seems like, you know how the Spider-Man Homecoming suit is made, the tech suit? It's sort of like they use that same type of design or technology to make these suits. But yeah, I like it. I like the varying shades of purple on the boots right there. Here are the gauntlets. Let's let you see his face up close. Yeah. The eyes have like a slight gloss over them so they can look a little bit more lifelike or human-like. Head comes off. Easy. I like whatever the heads of Mezco's heads are made out of. I like the way they... It's soft enough... To let the heads come off easy. But they still suction cup onto that little ball joint. So they don't fall off. But yeah, nice, nice. I like the face. After messing with it, after my initial mess with, as I'll call it. I started wanting a more angry rage face. Once I started doing some of these poses. I was like, you know what? A rage face with the helmet would have been nice. So... If this could have popped out and you could put a rage head in there inside the helmet. And oh yeah, just an empty helmet period so that he can hold it in his hand while he's being posed up like this with no helmet on. And I guess you could fake it out and have him hold the helmet like this and never show the front for your poses and whatnot. That'll still work out. But um... The coolest accessory he comes with besides this X-Men stand right there. The typical Mezco stand that has this on the end of it so you can have them floating up in the air. One thing, this kind of looks yellowy. It almost feels knockoffish because it's so yellow. I'm, I'm not used to that. Or maybe I never noticed that. But um, when you take this stand out of there, he has this little peg that'll fit into the foot. So you can just use this as a base instead of using that the flight stand. But uh, this thing right here, this is his main attraction right there. The fact that he pulled someone's gun out of their hand and then he magnetically ripped the gun apart and pulled each individual bullet out of the cartridge right there. And it has a hand right there. Hands come off easy enough. The hands, the, yeah, they feel soft. Something about it feels 
a little bit more rigid and stiff than the other two Mezco that I have. The only other ones I have is Punisher here and Bleed. But, yeah. I had him on the ground like Magneto was taking the gun out of his hand. So that's cool. Besides this, he does have these hands right here which are magnets so they pretty much can hold whatever you decide you want him holding and they are strong like I put this on there shook and you would think because this is a big freaking nail clipper compared to him that that wouldn't stay on there but it stays and let's see so, yeah, whatever you want to put in the hand, that'll work. But only thing messes it up as far as using it as some as just generic effects is the magnet sitting right there, changing the whole color pattern. But if you put the hands down like this and have them like floating off of the ground or something like that. I believe that could work. It works for me. In the packaging, he just has the fist on. And outside of those effects hands, he has a grasping magnet hand right there. And you see the texturing inside the glove. I kind of wish they had one where when he's doing this, I wish it could like curve up a little bit more, but the way it's sculpted, it's supposed to be curving outward. I wish they had a hand that could curve in more. And he has the more splayed out hand. Yeah, these hands seem to go on a little bit harder than my other two figures. But it has purple paint on top of the purple plastic. And these are just the more open hand. He has two of each hand, of course. And let me zoom out, and I guess we can get into articulation. You saw the head was on a dumbbell joint at the top. The neck actually rotates, but it's kind of difficult to do it. You get a little tiny, tiny taste of neck pivot. Not a lot. Not a. It's not a lot of rock in that bottom neck joint, but if you grab it with your finger, you can actually rotate the neck since the head is a little bit too soft let's see how far up I can make him look up that much and look down a good amount he does have butterfly joints the arms can go up more than 90 degrees I'm not worried about that stitching or anything but rocking the arms forward takes a tiny bit of work but I can get it up 90 degrees before I feel like risk, feel like I'm going to risk ripping. He does have double jointed elbows. I love that. It does have bicep swivel. Universal wrist. It has the upper torso and a lower torso. So you can get rock side to side and all that. Come back. Get some good crunch. But you got to like move this Belt while you're getting that crunch and it does full bunch up the costume unless you bring his legs down like that even with all this design work I don't feel like I'm gonna rip anything I love that when I messed with hot toys which I don't have a ton of experience with I feel like you're gonna rip everything so whatever they're using I think hot toys needs to use that legs can only kick out that much you can push up the fabric so he has less of a diaper crotch and that works the legs kick forward 90 degrees kick back some there's thigh rotation right there and i believe the top of the the hips the hips almost feel like small marvel legends hips they will pop off the ball joint this one hasn't so far when i've been messing with it but my other two figures blade and punisher pop off the ball joint and the way the butt is molded, they don't really have an ample butt so that you can get that back kick. 
it's like when you kick it forward too much, it pops off a ball joint. But there is thigh rotation. There are double jointed knees. I'm going to give it the boot swivel because it does swivel. I'm not going to do it 360. That is enough swivel for me. Foot kicks back that much. Kicks forward a significant amount. And you can make it's It's just a dumbbell joint up in there, I believe. Can make it have an ankle pivot right there. Hold on. This is the widest stance I am able to accomplish with both feet flat on the floor. And the keep. Mine has an issue. I think it's a QC issue. But he does have bendy wire and a freaking cape. In fact, you can see it on this side. I don't believe you're supposed to see that. Why well, don't I believe that? Because the stitching is nice and all the way neat up here. Maybe I can super glue that later because I don't know if this is actually stitched. It might be like kind of glued on there. But I'm able to flare this out. The wire is coming from in here all the way down here. It can bend into whatever position you want. And also besides this being not glued or fastened shut, I think it's not really attached in here like it should be. So I have issues getting it to stay in the position that I want because the fabric or this stitching line right here wants to go out the wrong way and it winds up getting all messy. But what I found out after doing my live stream, he has wire all at the top of here so you can lift the cape up so it can spin spread out some more for you and you can bend it and get it into whatever pose and whatnot so there you are with that and here he is next to some other 112 scale or six inch marvel legends maybe wolverine should be shorter i mean he's still short but here is Gene, she's shorter than him. In fact, let me look at this. Yeah, she's still taller than Wolverine. Punisher should be a lot taller. Let's see. Nope. I believe Blade is an even taller Mezco. Yeah, he's taller than all of them. So with honestly with him, you should have a good idea. And here is an actual, like, six inch on the news action figure. So, yeah, they all look like teenagers in comparison to my other six inch action figures. Oh, so, yeah. I really like them. Now, for you, and I guess this is a regular release figure. I don't think it's like any type of exclusive or anything. It's up to you to decide on whether you want to pay the full price or wait for it to go on some type of $10 or $20 clearance or $20, $10 or $20 sale. Doesn't come with too many exciting accessories. He does have the key. I mean, this is exciting, like I said, but it's pretty much just him and hands. <laughs> so it's up to you to decide on whether you think that's full price and these things right here which you can, if you have something metal that would actually make sense and not look goofy like like I have with this that would be better but yeah like I said from this angle it doesn't really look too well as an effect because it has magnets or silver magnets in there like they're not coated in blue paint or nothing like that so but it, I still, I personally like it a lot. And yeah, I'm satisfied with it. But let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said, I got this from Crashbox Customs. I'll put a link in the description. If I find it on Amazon, I'll put a link to that as well. Until next time, thank you for watching. T-Man978, out of here. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos.
videos. You should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those in videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click that shit.